coming up to it. Moved over here about, I don't know, 50, 60 feet to get out. Whoa, wait, wait. Ah, there we go. That one just came up and crushed it. Oh, yeah, that's a nicer one. A little drag on there. Transducer out of there. Oh, no. Nah. Now he doesn't feel as big. But... Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a nice one. Ooh, there we go. Perfect. Another nice big old slab. Kind of spread out a little bit after we chased them around. Oh, that's a nice, beautiful fish. Heck yeah. Let's get this one back in the lake. Big old thick thing. There we go. Awesome. Still a couple down there. Back on them. Oh no, I took my plastic. Oh, we'll try getting them without it. Seems like today the plastic's been kind of the ticking on that spoon. Most days you can get it without it. Oh no, they moved away on me. Oh, there's one coming back. Let's see if we can get this one. Going for it. Oh no! It's a big mark too. Come on. Come on. It's coming. Nope, he's leaving. I gotta get. To... Oh no, he's coming back. Boy, he's chasing like a darn lake trout. All right, he might crush it. Got him. Oh no. Ah, oh, just a little one, anyways. Never mind. I think I'm gonna move to a different hole here. I gotta rebait it up here. It's another plastic. Oh. Yeah, I will. Hey, Casey just reeled up a nice fish over here. My third, almost 15. A big old slabber. Super high. He's only about six feet below the ice. Yeah. Oh, easy, buddy. Well, we punched a lot of holes and moved a lot of ground out here. Yeah, that was a nice one. Just under 15. Nice. Did you swim it? Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. All right. They're gone. All gone already? Just like that. Caitlin's over here telling us where to go. Oh, look at that. It's really like. Yeah, it does. Should be 10 feet away. Yeah, they're there. Oh, Casey's got another one on over here. Yeah. No, I'll pass on that. <laughs> another big one on? Nice slabber. See that. Slab crappie. Going back. Here we go. Sweet. There one down there. Oh, you better get down this hole, Caitlin. You better fish this one. Down there right now.
camera's not picking up, I gotta switch the setting. Still got the one mark down there? Oh, he just kind of knows that. Bumping it. I'm not hitting it very aggressive right now. Oh, I look over here. Caitlin's got one on. Oh, what do you got? Let's see what we got here. Oh, that's a nice one. Ah, uh, not, not as big. I, mouth came up, he looked pretty good. Not a bad fish, though. I hope you get that one off. Yeah, he's coming up to it. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, no, I'm caught in the bottom of the ice. Oh, shoot. Oh. Got him! <laughs> oh, there, the old slabberoo. Jeez. Yeah, what you talking about? Back in the hole. <laughs> Sun's out, gun's out. All right. Oh. Casey's about to get one over here, maybe. There we go. What do we got? Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Oh, he still got him. It. There it is. Nice fish. Oh, sh There we go. They're big old slabberoo. Uh, 14 and a half. Jeez. That's what we're out here after. Like we always say, though, you gotta get these things back in the water and keep them healthy. This lake, this lakes need it. There she goes. Slab crap. There we go. Oh, you might you might have a nice one there. Uh -huh. Oh, old pumpkin seed. A warmer in here, huh? Them left a heck of a yeah. Yeah, it's a lot faster if you oh god there's already fish coming up to you <laughs> so you're playing with the vexilar and they were just flying up to the hook while it's going down There we go. Oh, oh no. We switched over to tungsten here because we were starting to get a lot of bluegills moving in. Oh, 
get a fish on. I'll show you exactly what tungsten we're using. Boy, it sure feels nice inside this warm fish house right now. Oh, I keep spitting it on you. There we go. Oh, he came off. Oh yeah, I see him down there. It's the hook dropping down. You can see the hook dropping. Some nice marks down there right towards the bottom. Oh, there's a bunch of them showing up. There you go. Usually pick off the top ones. And there's some nice fish in there. One just raced up to it. Grabbed it so quick. There we go. Oh, right out of his mouth. Another one coming. There we go. Another scrappy old bluegill. Down and get another one. There we go, he's coming into it. Really paused right when he got up to it. Couple more moving in on it. There we go. Fight it. Smaller one. Back down there. You just kind of keep on coming in and going out. Not like the crappies. The crappies, we really had to chase them around pretty hard. These bluegills, they just say we drilled a couple holes here and then catch a couple. They go for a little while, then they come back. And Right now I already got two more moving in. And 
I've only got like three or four down there now. And get one of those. There we go. Whoa! What the heck just happened? Oh, it's a crappie. Yeah. We're wrong there. He just got to the bottom of the hole and he started fighting really hard. Oh man, I got him left in there good. There you go, we'll get back down there. We got some fish that are suspended. They're up there a little ways. Here we go, I got another big remark coming in now. Might be those crappies again. Oops, nicer. Feels more like a bluegill. Yeah. Little guy actually. Just barely grabbed a hold of it. There we go. A little bluegill. You gotta catch the right one to wrap it up. And we'll just fish for fun. Catch a pile of these suckers yet. <laughs> There we go. He's wrapped around the transducer, of course. There. Nicer deal. Not a huge one. Cut plenty of big ones today, so Something like that it's kind of nice. Man, the hell swam out of here. Oh yeah, you got some by you. One coming for me. Oh, it's a nice one. Got him. A lot bigger on the screen. <laughs> I'll take it though. Another one coming in. There's a big one swimming your way pretty high up. Yeah, he's. He I came see him. Sniff and laugh. Oh, there. I got another one coming in.
see how big he is. I mean, he looks okay. Get him. No, oh, he's swimming right by me. <laughs> Come on, turn around. Drop down a little bit. Oh, I see it, I see it. Come on. Oh, it looks like there's a smaller one coming looks in to like grab there's it. Three that one sliding in looks pretty nice. Yeah. No. Swim in the way. No, oh, I got him. I wasn't paying attention. There was one on it. Little guy. And hold it, right? Turn around. There you go. A nice room by you. That's a, might be a bass on the bottom. There we go. Whoa, that. What you got there, boss? We'll find out. Looks like a crappie to me. Oh yeah. Oh, there's a big mark only about 10 feet down. Smaller one.
All right, we had an awesome day out here on the water. A lot of nice fish. So we're gonna wrap this up, but stay tuned. We're gonna get you in the kitchen and show you some fish cakes. Welcome back to the kitchen. We're gonna be cooking up some fish cakes tonight. We had an awesome week on the lake. Hope you enjoyed the video of this past weekend. Lots of nice fish caught. We released all those, but we went to a different lake, so we kept some eaters for this. But first of all, we took the fish. These are just crappie fillets. We just put them in the oven with a little bit of white wine, butter, and just baked them for about 10 minutes or so. Got them all, cooled them down, flaked them up. And this is the ingredients we'll be using. We just take a little bit of uh, red pepper. Sprinkle that in there. About a half a cup to three quarter cups of uh, fine chopped green onions. A little bit more is about a full cup in this thing so you don't use it all. Use a half a cup of wild rice. One cup of panko. A bit of salt and pepper, a little seasoning in there. And the seasoning that we used before we um, did the fish, we put these on before we baked them, is this stuff from Emily Meats called Captain's Bay Seasoning. Some really good stuff, you might want to check that out. Now that we got that in there, we put one tablespoon of uh, Worcestershire sauce. One tablespoon of Dijon mustard. We use two tablespoons of mayo. Maybe I should have shook that up first. <laughs> oh well. Tastes good anyways. Then we're going to take, this is one egg beaten with a fork. And you don't need this many lemons. We, we just have some, we chop them up for when we make fish cakes, we can put a little bit more on, but we're just going to do. We're just going to do two lemon wedges in this. Oh, we got a couple little ones in the background. <laughs> She's not happy. If you follow along with us, you can obviously see that the kids are always usually around. Finn, can you get your sissy a toy, please? And what we're going to do is we're just going to mix this up. Look at all that color, flavor. <laughs> so now that we got that mixed up we're actually going to make the patties what we do is we just make not too big of patties this actually really goes good as an appetizer you can do a full meal with it 
We usually do a few full meal, then we'll just uh, have a side with it. Then we actually put these things on uh, wax paper. What we're going to do is I'm going to fill out this whole thing. No! What I'm going to do is I'm just going <laughs> to fill out this whole thing. And uh, I'm going to put it in the freezer for about maybe an hour or so just to get them nice and firm, kind of crispy. Then we'll actually put them in the oil in the pan, the cast iron pan, and fry them up. Oh, well, we got the fish cakes out of the freezer. Nice, kind of solid almost. That's what we want. We brought the oil up to about 375, 400 degrees. So we're just going to get these in there and start frying them up. You're just going to want to get them golden brown on both sides. Ooh, that is hot. Now that these are golden brown on both sides, we are going to take them off and we're going to put them on a plate with a paper towel to soak up some of the grease. Boy, do they smell good. Well, we're at the finished project here. We have our fish cakes, a little bit of wasabi, mayo, a little soy sauce and sugar in there for just to put on top of the cakes. A little lemon to sprinkle over it. That's all there is to it. Stay tuned for more and like I say, likes, subscribe and share. Thank you.